Hey guys, this is gonna be a, a video on uh, me talking about my thoughts on the upcoming South Park special. But yeah, I'm gonna be talking about the upcoming South Park special and telling you guys my thoughts on it. Now, I am not going to be I'm going to let you guys know right now, I'm not going to probably be putting this in the news-related video because this will be kind of news-ish stuff, but this is more so me just wanting to, you know, get my thoughts out here on this new special that's coming out. And I'm uh, telling you guys what I think about it and uh, the, the uh, controversial thing going on behind the scenes with it. Mostly Disney. Yeah, because there's some definitely some stuff going on with Disney with this and, um... I'm going to get into that here in a second. Um, now, um, I want to... Now, now, before I get into the video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I really would. Um, I, don't, I haven't actually talked a lot about South Park on this, on this channel. I'm, I, down the road, I'm probably going to go through each episode and uh, review it. I'm thinking about doing that down the road. Because South Park, um, I've seen some episodes. I've seen some episodes of this show. Um, some of them are actually pretty good, while others are they have like gross humor and all that. Like, there's one episode where like we, where they be, they're like in a park or something, and like or like a water park, and there's like pee and stuff, and it's kind of gross and all that. Um, but there's uh, episodes like um the Blockbuster episode, which by the way, that one's that one's a classic. Despite, you know, it coming out, I think, like, in season 14 or something like that. Uh, I think it's when it came out. I can't remember. It was a really good episode, too. But, um... But, um, yeah, um... But, yeah, basically, though, um... I'm gonna be talking about, um, the, the special here. So, let's go ahead and talk about this. So... So, yeah, um... This new, this new South Park episode, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be called. I just know people have been talking about it on the internet. And um, um, mainly the reason why people are talking about it is because of Disney. See, Disney is pissed off. They are freaking pissed off about, um, about this, um, you, know, uh, you know, this new special. Because basically what it's going to be doing is it's going to be, um, it's basically going to be, uh, you know, um, like well, I don't I don't I don't know about this special specifically, but I do know D Disney is is pissed off because South Park is um poking fun at Disney and basically how how their how their South how South Park is ruining their business and all that because of they're they're throwing in you know diversity and inclusion stuff you know and all that um which I don't talk about a lot on this channel, but you know I figured that's what this special is gonna be about. I'm not sure if this one's going to be, you know, about that or not. But I do know that they're planning on wanting to use Bob Iger, like a cartoon Bob Iger, and Mickey Mouse in upcoming stuff in the future. Because cause, um, by 2024, Mickey Mouse is supposed to go into to the public domain. It's what's supposed to happen. Now, I don't know if this will actually happen or not, because this is what's supposed to happen before. And uh, Disney, Disney got got around it, and um, you know, and got past um, making Mickey go into public domain because they were supposed to lose the rights a long time ago, but they didn't. They kept pushing it forward and all that, and now it's going to 2024. Now Disney has lost the rights to like to to like you know um to like Winnie the Pooh and all that. If you guys don't know what public domain stuff is, basically the the company still has access to the uh, I believe they still have access to the um to the characters, but they but other um companies and other products can use it. That's how we got that you know that that abomination Winnie the Pooh you know horror movie. We got that you know and all that that was in that got put into Winnie the Pooh got put in put in public domain and all that and. Uh, and I and there's other characters too that are like that. So, but basically, um, Disney still ha can use their their characters and the old ones too, you know, and all that. But I don't, I don't know how I feel about that because I mean, 
that, you know, on one hand, you know, it, it's, it's kind of nice and all that, you know, that they, because, you know, when corporations, you know, buy up stuff and all that, because, like, I mean, Winnie the Pooh, I believe, was bought by Disney and all that, to use it and all that, and that, that still gives other people a chance down the road to use the characters and all the, in, in ways they want to, but in other ways, then we get, like, bad stuff, like, I, I hear the uh, Winnie the Pooh horror movie was pretty bad and all that, and, um, it wasn't really well received and all that, and this company, the same company wants to do horror movies with other uh, franchises too that go in public domain from Disney and all that. So we get crappy stuff like that, but I don't know. I mean, I, I can kind of understand that, but I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't know how I would feel about wanting cartoon characters because believe it or not, I'm actually wanting to work on, I'm working on making, you know, um, you know, cartoon stuff myself. I've actually been work. I've actually been making a book that I've been selling and all that. Um, I think I showed it off on this channel. Actually, I showed it off on the channel. It was actually. It, it seems like a lot of people really like it, so that's good. But I do want to eventually go down the road and actually make you know TV shows and all that. But I don't know how I would feel about other people using my my characters and all that. But I don't know. But the fact that Disney has been you know getting away with this. While other companies lose their rights is ridiculous. It's, it's freaking ridiculous. But I don't know. But but I don't know when this law was passed or, or if it's always been a thing. I'm not sure. Um, but I do know that that Mickey Mouse is supposed to be in public domain by 2024 unless Disney once again, you know, uses the uses the court and all that, or and tries to you know push their character, you know, Mickey Mouse even further down the road. But, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But, but, basically, though, yeah, Mickey Mouse was already has already appeared in South Park a few times. However, you know, you know, however, you know, it's, it's pissing Disney off because Disney, you know, is, they're, they're basically, they're, 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 they're poking fun at Mickey Mouse being this, this horrible, horrible guy, even worse than Eric Cartman. And we're talking about Eric Cartman is the same guy kid that literally fed a freaking bully to his freaking, I mean, to, well, fed a, a bully's parents to himself and all that, so that's, that's freaking messed up, but, and it, like, Mickey Mouse somehow is even worse, but he only appeared, I think, in a few episodes, but there is, there is talk that, like I said, they're, they're wanting to, put, like, make him appear a lot more often down the road. But yeah, basically, yeah, um, yeah, Disney's basically, you know, um, just pissed off about, you know, the fact that, that South Park is basically pointing out, yeah, basically Disney's mad at South Park for making them look bad and, and trying to be all innocent about it when, in fact, they, they are, they're doing this shit all the damn time. They're doing this all the time. Like, they really are. They're, they, like, look at all their freaking live action films. Like, look at all of them. Like, they're race swapping characters, like... Ariel is black, Snow White is black, and then Leo and Stitch are like, um, well, 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 you know, the Leo and Stitch live action movie is coming up, it's gonna have, like, like, not, not, like, dark skin characters by the looks of it, and, um, basically, they just keep pushing this crap and all that, and, um, people are just pissed off about it, people are tired of it. Heck, no one seems to be looking forward to the Snow White movie. No one seems to be looking forward to it. It seems like a lot of people really hate or hating the Snow White movie, it ain't even out yet. People were already split with um, Little Mermaid, but now people are just just tired of Disney with this stuff. And you know the fact that again they're going they're going they're going so far to you know um well they're going so far to you know like you know make like a a live action Bambi movie now and all that, cause that's in the works too and all that and and basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna try to change the scene. There's talk they're gonna change the scene with. Bambi's mother not, like, not being killed or something, which beats the whole purpose of the live-action movies, because they're supposed to capture, you know, the... I mean, it's okay to make them a little bit different, because you don't, you don't want them to be exactly copies, but you want people to, to recognize, you know, the characters and all that, you know, and the, the fact that they keep doing this, they keep changing the, the stuff and all that is ridiculous, and South Park is basically pointing out this shit by doing this stuff. Now, South Park has, you know, been doing this for all, forever. Now, they've been doing this forever. Like, heck, it's like one of the very first episodes, they they have, like, Stan, I think it's Stan or Kyle, I can't remember, um, 
which one? Um, but they they have to accept that their that their dog is gay. This dog is gay or something that's his, that's his and all that. And uh, it's kind of interesting and all that. But South Park's been doing this forever. But it feels like more more recently they've been kind of going more towards this this um poking fun at you know worldwide stuff. And they've actually I think they've been against they've been going against a lot of lawsuits and stuff and all that. Heck, even one of the characters, um, f uh, who uh, voiced Chef, um, on, on, on South Park, um, had some disagreements. He basically passed away. His name was Isaac Hayes. He passed away, though. Um, sadly, he passed away and all that. But he basically left the show because he was, um, he was mad about what happened, was happening behind the scenes and all that. Because South Park was poking fun at his religion and all that, so South Park has clearly made you know people pissed off and all that. And I, I gotta, I'm not gonna lie, I miss Chef. He was a great character. He was really funny and all that. And um, yeah, I, I just really, I really miss him, you know, and all that. But I actually am curious how how they would have wrote him in, in this episode, you know. I'm kind of curious because you know, like, because he was actually a black character and all that. So I'm just curious how they would have wrote him. But I don't know. But I, I do miss Chef. He was a great character, and but he was one of the many people that got pissed off and all that with South Park. I'm like, yeah, South Park though has been doing this forever. They've been doing this thing forever, and um, and all that, and uh, it's just kind of the thing they've been doing. But you know, but I mean, I'm not. They're, they're not. They're not wrong. They're not wrong for you know trying to make a special and all that. They're basically, they're they're pointing out they're gonna have like Bob I. They want Bob Iger in there and all that because, you know, they're basically trying to show how, how shitty the Disney company has gotten and all that. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that because it, it has gotten really bad, especially since Bob Iger's back. I know people were, were praising when he was when he returned and all that, hoping he would fix his mistakes. Even people who were pissed off about him were actually hoping he would fix his mistakes and all that. But nope, he ain't fixing his mistakes. Disney, Disney is still losing a ton of money. They're still losing money. And not just that, but they're like... They, they still keep doubling down and tripling down on all this stuff that they that people are tired of. And it's just it's just not going anywhere. So, I don't know. But I think South Park... But I think Disney... I think I believe they... Were, well, at least Bob Iger. I, I would say Bob, mostly Bob Iger. Because um, there, are, there are some, you know... There are people in there that are that are problematic and all that, like Bob Iger. But I'm not saying everyone in Disney is bad. There's, there's actually some people in Disney that are actually really good. Like like people at the parks and stuff. They're actually, you know, a lot of them are actually good. And I kind of feel bad for the way they're treated. And then you got the animators and stuff. I mean, of course, a lot of the the good animators and stuff actually cared about the company and are gone. But there's still some in there that are still trying, you know. To give, give off, you know, some good stuff for the company and all that. But as the whole, the company behind the scenes is just really bad now and all that. It's just a shame. And that's basically what South Park is doing. They're poking fun at how, how bad Disney has gotten. And, and yeah, other studios are doing this too. Other studios have been, like, the new Velma show basically, you know, was basically doing this device, you know, diversity and all that, occlusion stuff and all that. Um, they, they 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 didn't really focus on that on the show, but but they did they they basically made the char they race swapped the characters and made them look nothing li like the the Scooby Doo characters, which was frustrating and all that. Like I would like I I mentioned in my in my Velma review that that I like I kind of wish like Nor like Shaggy was actually a real character in the show, and they, that Norval was just his best friend from school or something like that. That. Because I think Norval could have been an interesting character if he was not Shaggy and, and that actually made him likable. Because a lot of the characters in that show were not likable and all that. But they didn't really focus on the, the, the device part too much in that show. But I still hated it. It still freaking sucked and it was a really bad show. But that's the thing. They just keep doing this. And, and Paramount's doing the same thing. They, 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 they've done this with April. I actually noticed, like, just like Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid and April... Like like Ariel and well, her name's Ariel, but Ariel and and, and April are, are both you know redhead ca 
characters, but I noticed like they they kind of go they've been kind of going back and forth. Like sometimes you'll see white Ariel, sometimes you'll see black Ariel. That goes the same thing with April from the Teenage Mutant Turtles and all that. And um, I'm just sick of this. You know, I'm like I'm like why can't we just have new characters? Why do they have to keep freaking changing characters' designs? Stuff. Why can't we have new characters? You know, because then then like people people who you know. People who are who grew up with these franchises are gonna be wondering who the heck some of these characters are, you know? I'm like, why can't we just make new characters, you know? I, I mean, but I don't know. I'm just like, it's just kind of frustrating and all that. And I'm, I'm again, I'm glad South Park is doing this and all that. Like, I don't know if the special is gonna be any good or not. That will have to that will depend and all that. Cause South Park, I've seen some newer episodes. They they definitely don't feel as good as they once were. I mean, this is someone who hasn't seen a whole lot of episodes, but I've seen it a lot from the, like, the first season and all that, and you can kind of compare it till now, and I've seen some some from here and there, but, but yeah, I feel like a lot of the episodes are kind of going down a hill, but I don't know, but, but I don't know, but I mean, I, I, I still feel like they still have some good moments, like, I mean, the COVID specials, those came out, I, like, a couple years ago, those were actually pretty decent, and I'm, I don't think they were great, but they were decent. I actually think they were... I liked how they actually experimented with the show a little bit and actually made the characters grow up. They're actually adults in there in that special, which I really like. I thought that was really cool, and I kind of wish they would have... They would have, you know, they would do more of that stuff. That was kind of cool, but... I don't know, but I actually made a, a, a video talking about the way that, that special ended. I won't spoil it, but I did make a video talking about that. And I and talking about my thoughts on how it ended and all that, but I don't know. But I don't really, I don't really like talking about this stuff too much on my channel. But I figured I'd talk about this because South because this is like a big thing that's going on in, on the internet and stuff like that. And um, I mean, I'm just gonna say, yeah, South Park has been doing this crap forever. They've been poking fun at things forever and all that. So it's not it's nothing really new. And yeah, people have gotten mad at, at South Park. I've heard there's been a lot of lawsuits and all that, and um, I just kind of saw South Park. South Park just makes fun of everyone. They make fun of everyone. They make, I mean, they even make fun of themselves. I mean, they make fun of freaking Kyle for being Jewish. I don't know if they still make fun of him being J Jewish or not, but they, they, they've been just doing this crap forever. They've been doing this forever and all that, and... Like they even, I think they even had one episode like, in the earlier seasons where, like, like, where Chef was, like, um, when he was still a character on the show and he wasn't killed off yet, they, they actually made a, 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 a episode where they made a flag and all that, and, and Chef was not very happy about it. I never seen the whole episode, but I seen a clip on it, and I'm like, that, that kind of looks like, that's kind of something that South Park would do and all that. Family Guy kind of did this, too, in other adult shows, but South Park did this the most. They, they've done this a lot, so... This is this is nothing new here. I'm surprised it actually took them this long to do this. I probably would much prefer them to make a streaming service um special instead. They did they did do something like this, but it, it did something like this. Um, but they but it wasn't like um, but it wasn't really what it wasn't actually a streaming service um special. It was more so uh, it was it, it was more it was more so you know a um. Basically, them making their own services to, to like ship stuff and all that. I think is to make money and stuff. It was it wasn't really you know, it wasn't really you know, like making fun of like Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, and all that. It was just it was basically just um you know its own thing. But I don't know. But I do know this special is going to be on Paramount Plus and all that. It's it's not going to be on HBO Max. That's one thing that's kind of annoying about streaming platforms. You gotta, if you want to, you know, watch like all of South Park, for example, you have to have like Paramount Plus and HBO Max and all that. And I'm just, I don't, I'm just not really a fan of that. But I don't know. But I'm probably gonna go ahead and let this go here. I guess you guys can let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. But um, I, don't, I, I think I, I really don't know what the special is gonna be about. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be any good or not. But. It's just kind of interesting that they're kind of you know, tackling something like this and all that, but and and again, the, again, Disney is is like this all the time, and they have no they have no reason to you know get mad at South Park for this and trying to put the blame on them when they when they're when Disney's the one that does this crap all the freaking time. 
That's the problem. They freaking they they, they won't admit that they that they're the ones that screwed up. But I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and let things go from here. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye.